Hey folks, Wayne Jennings here. Just bought myself a new paddle. As you can see there, it's made by Pelican. This is the Vesta model. Uh, that side we have the name, and on this side we have the stylized uh, Pelican on the white blade. Now, personally, I don't know why they don't do each blade white. I guess it's just a, you know, an artistic thing. But uh, regardless of the colors, it works quite nicely. Uh, this paddle, the reason I bought this, it was reasonably priced, had all the features I was looking for. Not too heavy, weighs in at like 2.25 pounds, that's about 36 ounces. Uh, Construction-wise, uh, aluminum shafts with um, fiberglass reinforced nylon blades. So, seems to be pretty well made. It's got these little drip cups on each end. That just helps when you lift the paddle of the water. Uh, it doesn't, you know, the water doesn't slide down the shaft and get you all wet. And you can also adjust it. There's a little button in here. Right now I've got it set up at zero degrees, so each blade is the same. But if you push it and rotate it, you can offset it by 65 degrees one way or 65 degrees the other way. Uh, whatever you prefer. I actually like it just at zero. Works pretty good for me. And a kind of unique thing, at this end here, the round shaft kind of tapers. It's more of an oval, so it's a natural spot put your hand so you're always positioning it in the right spot but performance wise it seems really good it's you know it's not the lightest paddle made uh, but it's certainly not the heaviest and uh, lengthwise this is 240 centimeters which is about 94.5 inches uh, I like that length uh, with this kind of sit on top kayak because I've used shorter paddles in the past and I find I'm always banging the side of the boat when I dig in this longer one it just gives me more reach so I can get out there, get the power strokes that I need. So overall, I'm really pleased with this. Um, the other thing, um, it's made out of metal and fiberglass. Those tend to sink, but this has styrofoam inside the shaft. And apparently if you drop it in the water, it floats. Look at that. I've never actually tried that before, but that's, that's good to know. If it goes overboard, you're gonna be able to retrieve it. So. Um, I'm really happy. I've been using this for about a year now, and I would definitely highly recommend the Pelican Vesta kayak paddle.